Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I've got a smaller haul. But um, yeah, we went to the auction recently, Barb and I, and I have just a few things to show you from that auction because we did leave early. But then I do have some other things that I picked up while I was at a little estate sale. So, uh, oh, and then one other fun thing that I'm keeping for myself. But the things I want to show you, I wasn't really excited to buy, but it was just one of those auctions where there wasn't a lot for us to purchase. Now, Barb did buy one really fun thing. She bought herself a Black Panther television lamp. And I do have my own television lamps, TV lamps, that I sort of collect, I guess. And then I think she only has maybe a couple. So she wanted to buy that one, and it ended up going for, I think, 30 I think around $30. So she was gonna cap out around 35 for that Black Panther TV lamp. Let me jump in and show you what I have here. So there are a few things that I was able to buy, but I did pay up for some things as well. Uh, these things right here in front of me are really obnoxious. I'll get to those first. It, it's enamelware. So we've got this all blue enamelware and I have two of them here. So the way they did it at the auction is they had Oh, that just stained my tablecloth. It's a little rusty. So they had like three. There was three to choose from and they were doing choice and they were bidding. So the bid, the bid got up to I think $15 choice and I took these two. And we got this blue one here, the blue, mar the blue marbled. The one that I left was just like a standard gray granite color. So it was just like a more basic color. These two colors are fun and exciting, and I actually have sold this exact one in my booth before. Before? That's a word. And it sold for $24, I think it was. My sinuses are so messed up right now, and it's, I don't know, it feels like I'm gonna blame any issues I have in this haul to that. And I ordered an air purifier, so hopefully it turns out to be a great thing. I paid up for it. I'll let you know. <laughs> This one here is quite a bit bigger as well. So I paid $15 for each one of those. And I think that'll be pretty good. Yeah, I mean, that's quite a lot to pay for something that you're gonna resell. I think I'm gonna be able to almost double my money on each one of those. So about $30 on each one of those in the booth. Or I might list this one online because it's kind of a nicer compact size. I like it. I think that'll do really well online. So maybe I'll put this one online. I need to double check the prices though uh, to see what they're selling for. So yeah, that's cool. Now, this here was something I did mention in the video, the shop along video that I recorded of the auction and it's made by Metlox. It's a little teapot. So, or is it coffee? It's a coffee pot. So it has the rooster on it. They say Metlocks. I think I did. Poppy Trail by Metlocks, made in California. So it has this rooster on it and a pretty green and cream. Just really fun. That's just cool. Uh, it actually it actually has a tag on it from when it was. So when they tried to sell this at an antique mall, so there's a price tag of $150 on it. That's not gonna happen at all. And it didn't. Uh, it's not worth near that at all. It's worth like $15, $20. That's what they're selling for. And then the cups here. Matching cups. Uh, this one mug is $18. And so is this one. I did not look up the mugs. So I don't know what they're really worth. They're probably worth between $5 and $8 based on what I'm thinking in my head. But I'll double check that. If I'm like crazy wrong, I'll just write it below and um, those might make their way online. There's no real issues to them. But if I really just don't think it's gonna be worth my time with the shipping and everything, I'll put it in my booth, hopefully. Oh, and there's this one little shaker here. And they had um, $15 on this one shaker. So yeah, I could put all that together just the way I bought it and sell it that way. The one thing I wanna say, oh, I'll just show you because it's right here. So after the auction, Barb and I went to this antique store that was sort of closing down. Well, it is closing down. The guy just cannot function. He's getting older. He's kind of over, he's overweight. He has health problems. He, I think he has financial problems. 
and uh, yeah. So his place is currently for sale. It's a pretty decent price. If I was interested in buying an antique store, maybe I would, but I'm not. So I think they only want $78,000 for their antique store. It's full brick, two-story building, but it's in a small town in rural Illinois. So uh, that's part of it. And the other thing is I just don't want the responsibility of that. So I bought this really fun inkwell art deco uh, stand set thing. And so they had $10 on it and th there was no like specific percentage deal except he just said uh, our prices are flexible however they however he said it so whenever I got up to pay I was like ten dollars okay would you do five and he said yep <laughs> um, by the way before I get in any further it's all glass this is from the 20s you'd put a pin like a uh, fountain pen right in there and then you can put your ink in here, this vessel right here, as far as I as far as I know, because this unscrews. So I here's I did not look this up, but I'm guessing that you'd fill it up like this, put, screw it on with your with your ink, and then put it in there. So there's like a channel, and I'll show this up close. This channel runs on the bottom of this over to the uh, the pin area where it nests where the pin will, will set when you're not using it. So um, it's black glass. I ended up paying $4 because I didn't have $5. I only had four ones. So um, that was fine and I bought it. Now there is a little, ch well there's a big chunk missing on the back of this, which I'm okay with, but I just love the form factor here. Uh, if you look these up online, they're selling for about $20, $25. So that's pretty cool. And I'm just happy to have it. I have two fountain pens that are made by Esterbrook. They're just like traditional old pens that you would have used at school. Uh, they're not like the type that um, they're they have the ink the ink is inside, so it's a uh, lever filled. This would have been if you would have like dipped your ink in and did the old fashioned way with this unit. But I thought it would be fun to buy this and just stick it in there and it does fit. The problem is it, it sets the wrong way so all the ink comes away from the nib and the nib is the metal tip of the pin and so like obviously gravity is working against you if you ever want to use that pin. You know what I mean? So yeah, it was not really thought out that well. I just like, you know, I could put a pencil in it or something or a, or a rig, I'll figure it out. But it's cool. Okay, I said this would be a short video and it's not. Um, so the last of uh, the other two things I got from that auction is this really fun piece here by Marcrest, I think. Yeah, this is Mar Marcrest Ovenproof Stoneware. It's brown. I've been buying some brown stuff lately, like stoneware. Um, this was, I, th I think this was part of the Matlocks. It was part of the same grouping. And I think I paid... I think I paid under $10 for everything, for this and the Metlocks, which was good. But how much under that, I'll write it below what I ended up paying because I've got the, the price thing somewhere. So there was a little sticker on this one for $15 and it has this nice divider in it. Honestly, what a great like little serving dish. You could definitely use that. It's certainly uh, a really nice piece that's hearty. It's like strong. Use it for planter, whatever. Just put whatever you want in there. But um. Yeah, uh, I don't think that those really have a huge selling market. Uh, so we'll probably go in the booth. One thing that I did buy that was a really great deal was this Corel, and it's a whole set of it. And I think it's actually, it's a four piece set all around. So that's really cool. And I paid $3. I think it was $3 for all of this Corel. Has the four mugs, all of that. Offhand, I'm not sure what this uh, pattern is called. I can look it up. Corel is known for having an abundance of patterns. So uh, I will suggest, so he, I love Corel plates. Like they're so strong. They're made of vitrell, which is the glass. It's a uh, laminated glass, which makes it ultra durable. So Corel is really fun. These, I don't 
don't know why, but sometimes Corel gets like this crud on the sides of the rims and it's so hard to get off. These are gonna go in the booth. And yeah, they're just really fun. I've definitely seen this pattern before. It's a nice set. I could probably put an easy $15, $20 on this and that's, I don't think I have a problem selling this Corel. I do need to wash it all first, but it's a, it's a nice set, uh, really pretty. But yeah, Corel is a great material to work with, ultra lightweight, and they've got a ton of patterns. And you can look those up online. They have well over a thousand different patterns over the years of, of whenever they launched those. And you could buy vintage ones. These here are probably from the 80s time frame, so they're vintage. Okay, so that takes care of the auction and like the place that we went to after I got, I got that little pin holder thing. But then I went to an estate sale and I picked up a few things. Now, I went to the estate sale, I think it was hours and hours after it began, but from the photos, I knew that I didn't really care. So whenever I got there, I did find a few like measly things, including some tins. Now, Christmas is coming up, so not so much of these but I will show you the other ones. This is Catherine Beach Butter Mints, and they just look kind of retro. So I bought them because of their fun, like just happy um, coloring, let's put it that way. Um, they were 25 cents a piece, I think, or maybe they were 50 cents. Either way, I, I shouldn't have bought it, I don't think. I'm gonna put them in the booth for like a dollar each, dollar 50 each, and just, forget about it but I did get a really cool little tea thing so this is from the 70s for sure and it has the little tea on there with this Victorian kind of char what's that word chartreuse no that's a color card cartouche cartouche that, I think it's cartouche. I paid $2 for this at the estate sale and I think it's really cool. So, wonderful little scene on this one. It's blue, the color is very Christmassy. And then we have the horse-drawn carriage and just the whole scene with the uh, tree and everything. This one is made by the Olive Can Company of Chicago. So I bought this because I figure that with the holidays coming up, it's a great way to send cookies. And I don't bake or have any desire to do that, but for the booth, I could put $3 on this and it will make a really attractive vessel to re-gift cookie things or any kind of baked goods. Or people decorate them with them too. Then the other one I bought for the same reason is this one. I love the colors and it's a birdie birdie on there there we go this one is also made by the same company and it's really pretty i don't know if it's it's not really that christmas looking oh and it has this label on the outside of it that says payday candy cheerios peanuts chocolate i don't know so it's like a mixed bag of things in here uh but yeah i this one doesn't say anything, but I think those are pretty fun. And the last thing that I have is actually something that I picked up at the, um, so this was whenever I had a really large haul video of Nippon items and I forgot to include this because it's like just random, it has nothing to do with any of the other ceramic pieces that I had, but it's this fun, retro, super cool lamp. Look at that shape of that right there. That's neat. So this was $5 and I had no problem paying that. It's just really cool, and that will go on Etsy for um, every bit of $30. And then the shipping and all that. I, it, it, I mean, with the shipping, it probably will still be about $30. Uh, lamps, I just got dizzy. Whoa. Um, lamps like this usually sell for about $20 plus shipping, so $30, and I think that'll be a really easy sale. Um, it is made by the Hamilton, Hamilton Industries, made in Japan. Cool. So that is actually everything that I had to show you. It wasn't really that, um, crazy. 
but I did manage to find a few things either way. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.